Hello and welcome to the program on Master of Computer Application of IGNU. In this program, I'll be discussing with you various features of Master of Computer Application program. The basic objective of this program is to prepare graduate students for productive career in software industry, academia, and research. Why we are focusing on research? because we will be providing you a lot of information related to how the mathematics, we will be providing various research-oriented courses which we, you will be able to appreciate and use. But first, let us talk about the very important question, that is whether this is uh, AICT recognized or not. Right, IGNU is first of all accredited by NAC as A++ institution. And Master of Computer Application program is approved by AICT for the academic year 2021-22 and 22-23. Now let us go into some more program details. The very first question you ask is what would be the mode of instruction? And it happens to be English. Then mode of delivery, we are offering two different modes of delivery. First is open and distance learning mode, and the second one is online mode. The minimum duration of this program is two years, and this program is offered in January as well as July cycles of admission. Next is, what is the eligibility criteria for this particular program? Basic criteria, uh, which are marked as A and B. The first one is that you, you have to either first A, one is past BCA, BSc Computer Science, BSc IT, BE CSE, and BTEC CSE or BE IT and BTEC IT or equivalent degree. Or you have passed any graduation degree, that is BE, BTEC, BSc, BCom, BA, BVOC, etc., preferably with mathematics as 10 plus 2 level or graduation level. The students of category A2 right, which is normal graduates, not computer science graduates, are required to do bridge courses of IGNU along with the Master of Computer Application program. Now, the next question which we have to answer is the program fee. Well, the fee to this particular program is at the, uh, I mean, 12,000 rupees per semester. That is rupees 48,000 for the four semester. However, the students who have to do bridge courses are required to pay the fee of bridge, bridge courses, uh, which at present is 1,000 rupees per bridge course. Now, moving on, then what is the instructional system? How we are bringing in this MCA program to you? Well, the very first thing which you get is self-instruction printed or electronic uh, course material which comes to you as far as uh, this is concerned. We have a website called eGyan Kosh where the electronic course material is placed. Then there are certain number of audio video programs which we do and they are also uh, either broadcast uh, through our this Gyan Darshan channel or they are put onto the, our eGyan Kosh site where you can visualize those uh, audio video program. So this is the way we try to reach you in different modes and different ways. Then finally, we talk about the evaluation system of this particular program. Well, evaluation system, there are two types of courses, as you know, theory and practical or lab courses. In the theory and uh, courses, the continuous evaluation is only one assignment is there and it covers 30% of the weightage which you need to submit and evaluation of that particular assignment Viva VOC is also conducted and term and examination contains 70% weightage in the practical or the lab once again you have one assignment but in addition to that you are required to submit the lab record whatever you have done during your practical sessions and that both constitute of 30% and remaining 70% are the term and examination. For the project course, there is a compulsory viva of 50 marks and 150 marks are devoted towards the report. Now, there are how you will you come to know more about this particular program? Well, the very first place where you can get the information is the common prospectus, which is available on IGNU website. In addition to that, there are important links like program guide of MCN new, the, we, we are giving it a code must MCN new we have given, is available on website egyankosh.ac.in. And in case of any academic query you have, you can always send an email to 
mca at ignu.ac.in where you will be getting answer to your academic queries only. So it is very, very important that you first go to the website of IGNU for, to the common prospectus. If your questions are not answered there, then you look into the program guide of MCA. Even then your program, uh, questions are not answered, then you always write to mca at ignu.ac.in where we will be very happy to respond to your, your queries. So with this, uh, I end this presentation. I, all, I feel that you will, would like to be joining this particular program. Thank you so much for being with me. Mm -hmm.